What up everybody, it's Nui and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 21 video. In this episode we're gonna take a look at the Rainier objective, we're gonna make the best Bundesliga squad possible for managerial masterpiece so it has to be 77 rated and on 100 cam. Plus, we're gonna drop the 85 right here in there as well. Before we start, if you're new to the channel, if you enjoy the content, if it's helpful in any kind of way, please smash that subscribe button and help the channel grow to 5,000 subs. Hi guys, let's do this shit. Hi guys, this is the team that I've built. Of course, we have to have Rainier in there just because we need to score with him or assist with him and get those wins. So he is going up top, 85 rated striker. He looks pretty nice, 89 pace, 87 dribbling and 84 shooting. He's very easy to get. To get him, you had to uh, score six times in managerial masterpiece with the 82 rated Rainier. And I used the exact same team as this team. To, uh, to get this uh, right here. You see 91 acceleration, 87 sprint speed. I've dropped a Hunter camp style on him, so that will max out the pace. Uh, with the Hunter, you will also get 94 finishing and shot power, so that is good, and 89 attacker positioning. That agility and balance looks uh, okay. I mean, the agility looks good with 90 and 86 composure is good. Balance reactions a little bit on the lower side with 80, but all in all, this card uh, looks very good. He also has four star, four star, so, this card in itself is already worth grinding for, but then you have to play, I think, 16 matches with this card to get the 87 rated one. So we're gonna see if that is worth it later in this video, so stay tuned. Anyway, this right here, he goes up, left striker. Right striker is going to be a one he chan 93 pace, 79 dribbling, 75 shooting. And of course, this man is a glitch. He scores so many goals. Then moving on to the left mid position, we have Bailey, 94 pace, 82 dribbling and 76 shooting. Always he goes there. He is a fantastic player. And Young Woo Young, he is also a, a little bit of a glitchy player. His dribbling is so fantastic. He always gets himself uh, past defenders with 91 pace, 87 dribbling and 75 shooting. If you don't have this storyline card, you can use the 82 rated Karim Bellarabi on the right mid position. Now, because Rainier is 85 rated, you have to have some lower players in there. And on the center mid positions, we're going to have Malong. 82 pace, 70 defending and 82 physicals. He is going to be my CDM and he's actually pretty good in managerial masterpiece. He stops many attacks. Then next to him, Boetius. This one is a filler position. I mean, he's one of the faster uh, midfielders in the Bundesliga with this rating with 81 pace. But of course, the defending and physicals is shit. So this player I'm going to sub out straight away for probably Opara, who I really like as a CDM or uh, Serginho Dest. Both are 75 rated and they are fantastic defensive subs. So Boetius, he's just here as a filler position, but I will throw him out straight away. Then on the left back position, it can only be one Alfonso Davies, 96 pace, 77, sorry, 76 defending and physical. Very good, very good player. And Mbabu on the right back position with 89 pace. And everybody knows Mbabu and Davies, these two are monsters. Then for the center back position, I have got a Klosterman right center back, 84 pace, 82 defending and 77 physicals. Very good center back. And yeah, that's about it. You know, you can uh, probably drop a Konate in there or Upa Meccano, but I like Rusli. He will be on 7 cam, 88 pace, 76 defending and 76 physicals. This guy is also a monster. So that back line is looking pretty strong and the nice thing about it is they are very low rated. Then in goal I just put a Flecken, 75 rated. He's one of the tallest uh, goalkeepers in the Bundesliga. So that is of course fantastic but don't expect uh, much from this goalie. He is of course a little bit shy but yeah you have to have some lower players in there to get this 85 rated in. Then on the bench you have to have three times a 65 silver rated player and four times a 75 rated gold otherwise you will not get a rating of 77. Boadu and Kirk are my uh, attacking subs and this Kirk is also really really good. His shooting is phenomenal it only says 71 shooting but when I shoot with him pff, feels like 80 or even 90. I really like this player and like I said Opara and Dest are the other players. So if you think this team is shit it is true but it is because it is 77 rated. So for a 77 rated team, I think this is the best Bundesliga squad that you can build. Another option is to build a Brazilian squad if you want, but I think Bundesliga, you know, maybe your Premier League team might be good as well for managerial masterpiece, but I like this Bundesliga team. So far I've won pretty easily. Well, I'm the best there is, plain and simple. I mean, I wake up in the morning, I piss excellence. 
Now, if you take a look at the objectives that you have to do to get the 87 rated one, I mean, the 85 is very easy. Just score six times in managerial masterpiece with this uh, 82 right here. For the 87 one, you have to score in six wins. So that is already more tricky. Six finesse goals. You have to score two goals in three separate matches with right here. So those objectives are a little bit more tricky. Uh, score in 16 separate matches. So, I mean, so far I had six out of six with the 82 rated one. So I'm pretty confident I can score in 16 out of 16 and uh, play 25 games with Rainier in your starting squad. Well, I started with the 78 one. So I already have 10 out of 25. That is the max, I think. So it's going to be 26, hopefully, by the end of this objective. And you ha it is what it is. But that doesn't mean we aren't doing everything we can. It's under control as much as you can control it. So for an end reward, you will get an 87 rated Rainier striker. And I like this concept of playing with uh, lower rated cards to get a higher version of it. They did it with Summer Heat as well. Then I think you had Furla Mendy, who was an absolute monster. So this is the same concept. I just wish it was a little bit higher than 87. But, you know, let's take a look and see if he is usable in a weekend league. He does have a, a six foot one in height. High medium work rate is good. And he has four star, four star. If we look at the pace, we see 93 pace with 89 sprint speed. So that is, of course, very good, but I would like to boost it. I will probably drop a Hunter Kempstall on this card as well. 87 uh, attack positioning and finishing, 92 shot power is good, and 82 long shots is a little bit low. So don't shoot from outside the box with this card. With a Hunter, you will max out the pace and the shooting apart from long shots. His dribbling looks very good. And from what I played with the 82 rated card, he has some good dribbling, so 93 agility, 84 balance and reactions is a little bit on the lower side again. It's similar to the 85 rated one, 91 dribbling and 88 ball control. So yeah, from playing with the 82 rated card, I know that this guy has some skill moves on him. You can do some croquetas, four star, four star. I mean, that is absolutely fantastic. So the dribbling stats might not look the highest, but I still think he will perform in game, especially with that Hunter cam style. 94 vision and 90 short pass is fantastic as well. And 80 long pass and 78 cross is a little bit on the lower side his physicals are also okay 88 stamina 85 strength is of course very good and 76 aggression is a little bit medium for player traits he does have the flare trait no outside foot shot no finesse shot trait and is this upgrade worth it i mean i think so i mean he has a plus two pace and dribbling and a plus three shooting boost on top of that 85 rated card i think that 85 rated card looks already very good and uh, he's probably usable but this 87 rated card looks like an absolute beast so yeah it is a grind you know it is a grind to get the 85 rated already so i don't think you want to do this in one night or one weekend just you know over time play with this card and uh, grind towards the 87 rated card i mean 16 uh, matches where you have to score with the 85 rated it is a lot it is a lot but you know we've seen squad foundations and we've seen some other objectives where you have that grind of uh, score in 15 matches so yeah i think this card is outperforming the other cards that we had so far so i will definitely do this card but i'm gonna take my sweet time and that's why i don't have this card yet for this video even though i wanted it i know it's gonna be a four hour grind or something like that so guys, this is my opinion on this card. This was my best Bundesliga squad that I'm going to use to unlock this 87 rated Rainier. Let me know in the comments what you think of this player. Do you think it's worth it? Are you going to do him? Uh, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next vid. Later!